Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. We begin this morning with breaking news. USDA releasing new information about that mysterious illness we've been telling you about. The American Association of Bovine Practitioners reporting illnesses impacting dairy cattle in Kansas, New Mexico, and most of all, Texas. And now we know what's causing it. APHIS reporting that the mystery illness has been identified as a strain of highly pathogenic avian influenza, or bird flu, the same illness that has impacted wild birds and poultry across the country. To date, three dairies in Texas and one in Kansas have tested positive for HPAI, but no mention about New Mexico. Now it's reported the illness has been impacting cattle since early February. The issue covering nearly 10% of the animals, causing reduced feed consumption and a 10 to 20% decline in milk production. A Texas dairy farmer told us the mystery illness acts similar to the flu and seems to target only older cows. As the industry works to uncover all of the factors causing the disease, one veterinarian says what makes pinpointing the cause so difficult is trying to decipher what the main symptoms of the illness are versus the secondary symptoms and related issues. It's not a pneumonia outbreak as far as we can see. It's not a mastitis outbreak. I think that some of those things that we're seeing on farms are probably secondary to the initial agent that's causing cows to go off feed. And every dairy farmer knows that a cow that doesn't eat is at risk to get uh, other syndromes and other diseases. And so I think that's what's uh, that's what's occurring right now. Now, clinical signs include a sudden drop in milk production. Some severely impacted cows are producing thicker, more concentrated colostrum-like milk. The problem causes a drop in feed consumption with a simultaneous drop in rumen function accompanied by loose feces and some fever. Now, Texas Ag Commissioner Sid Miller saying there is no threat to the public and there will be no supply shortages. He says no contaminated milk is known to have entered the food chain and that it was all dumped. You can check out dairyherd.com for more on this developing story.